more detail about how an instruction is designed instruction is nothing but the instruction is nothing but what whatever we are saying that processor should do okay so what should instruction should contain instruction should contain usually what should it contain what it has to be performed okay we'll take some rough random instruction will for understanding add bc this is an instruction so add addition so what it has to do is the addition okay addition it has to do so instruction should what should it contain what it has to do okay so what task that is called opcode so instruction should contain um, what it has to do next where which location address of the first operand so where it has to fetch from the first data address of the second where it has to fetch the from the second data so after addition of b plus c where it has to store the result that is the storing of the result okay after completion of this instruction you should also contain where should it get from the next instruction so from which memory location you should get the memory location so this this is the format of instruction so instructions are chain instructions will type addition subtraction and logical operations and data manipulation everything will be there so instructions will change from the processor to processor but depending on the processor instructions will vary and types of how it is designed for the instruction execution will also change but thing is that every instruction should what should instruction what should we should give actually we should first think about it so to first we should give the where it should fetch the instruction okay so from where it should fetch the instruction that we have to give so because instructions are stored in the memory location you know that so memory big representation it's a series of blocks so this is the instructions for example x x1 plus these are the instructions p q r s t is the data locations okay so first we should tell that from which location which address these are the addresses okay first we should tell the processor from which address it has to fetch the instruction okay we should tell that so after fetching the so after fetching the instruction instruction should contains from which operation after, so it will will specify we'll use the program counter instead of giving in the this is for example if it is the instruction see it contains op code from where it is first operand has to fetch second operation is second data has to be fetched and where the result should be stored and where the next instruction if we give the instruction this much it will length will become instruction length will be very huge so we'll cut short the instruction length we'll do some implied indirect way of addressing for example where the next instruction to be fetched we should not specify in the opcode we'll specify it in the program counter we'll place a register it contains every time it increments and it points to the next instruction to be fetched okay this way we in instruction where it should fetch the next instruction will isolate so we'll remove this okay so where it is contains in the program counter program counter contains from where instruction has to be fetched so we are eliminating in the instruction okay next next thing is that um, address of the result okay or address of the result so after execution of the instruction where we should store so we should also eliminate usually after the execution of the instruction results will be in the accumulator so that we also discard this so that instruction length will be reducing actually so by eliminating these two registers instruction length will be opcode where it has to first uh, get the first data second data okay so results will be usually stored in the accumulator implied way indirect way okay so we are eliminating two things in the instruction what is that where it has to fetch from the next instruction and where the data will be stored okay so see here so these are the instructions okay so initially program counter will point to this one okay some x so from this it is fetched the instruction what will happen program counter will be incremented so it will point to the next instruction after executing this instruction it will point to the next instruction like that it keeps on incrementing one by one sequentially it will fetch the instructions okay from the data okay of course instruction code will contain op code op code means what it has to do and addresses of the data where it is for example add bc where it has to fetch b and where it has to be addresses of bq pq will contain address of b and c so for example see this this how it will execute will draw it more example. first it will fetch the instruction okay from here this is the instruction for example okay i'll drawing roughly so it will fetch this instruction and this will be placed in op code see here it will fetching instruction and it will place in the op code okay this is the ir instruction register what will happen next so program counter will increment it will increment and point to the 
next instruction okay from where next instruction has to be this will be done after that seeing that this instruction it contains like this opcode p q okay it contain opcode p and q okay opcode p p q okay what does it mean what does this instruction mean? what operation it has to be performed what from where the data one has to fetch from where the data two has to fetch okay now what will happen the control unit will interpret interpret and it will give the instruction first this is the p address see from p address it will fetch the data data will be fetched like this to the memory address register it will go to the accumulator okay and the temporary registers it will be stored data through this one okay next again q from q address will be placed here q memory address register okay again q q address it will fetch the again data it will store in the accumulator okay this way it will get the data from p and q locations and p and q will be placed here this is the address locations okay one by one sequentially it will fetch so after it will come to the accumulator and stored in the temporary register. so after this it will interpret the opcode opcode what does opcode says for example it says addition it will generate the control signals such that ALU will perform the addition operation on these two fetched the locations and the result will be stored in the accumulator result will be stored in the accumulator so after completion of the cycle it will fetch again next instruction from this location the next instruction will come again this will placed in the instruction register again control unit will interpret addresses of the operations operation opcode operand and operand2 and again this sequence will repeat it so this way the processor works actually okay we'll study this in more detail to understand instruction codes more precisely i'll tell uh, some uh, some of the examples actually okay see this is the memory okay here the memory in memory here the instructions are stored and here the data is stored okay these are the address locations where the data this is the just like it's a colony big colony different houses okay address of the each house like that each house it will contain different different of items like uh, one will contain vegetables like that for example you take different different types of data so these are the addresses okay so what does instruction is contains here see that it is one two four a these are all example purpose only okay one two four a computer can understand you know that computer can understand only zeros and ones okay you know that so what does then what does one two four a this is an hexadecimal way of representation hexadecimal for our understanding we'll represent it in a hexadecimal 124a means each x hexadecimal will represent it by four bits that means zero will be represented zero zero one two means zero zero one zero four means zero one double zero a means ten that means one zero one zero actually this is the instruction how many bits 16 bits this is 16 bit instruction so computer can only understand this one only for our convenience we converted into hexadecimal and represented what does this this is the instruction okay instruction what does it mean for example it design depending on the computer actually they will design it actually for example for this in op code so what does it mean here it means for example you interpret it like this this computer is interpreting is like this what does it mean this is the actually you will give the instructions this will be stored in this particular location okay in this particular location it will be stored like this this instruction will be stored like this only 24 bf means the binary value will be only stored okay how the computer will interpret we'll see that first what will the cpu will do program computer will point to this instruction and it will fetch and it will place in the instruction register okay after placing how does it interpret for example 124a what does it mean for example it means that clear accumulator clear accumulator arithmetic logic accumulator and place whatever data contains in this particular location in the accumulator okay first what will you do for example how it will interpret it will read this is first we think this is opcode 0001 so this is opcode means what does the processor will do it will interpret this processor what does it means it means that first it should clear the accumulator accumulator means it will clear the accumulator it will make all the accumulator binaries into zeros okay accumulator number will be zero then what will does what will this mean second second part is means it will from this address location 
it should fetch the data and it should place in the accumulator so first you should clear the instruction clear the accumulator and you should place it okay so next what will this one? memory of 124a so this is op code according to the machine so one means what it has to do actually it should clear the accumulator and it should get the data from the memory location this address this is the address these three bits are address okay what does it mean memory location memory or house location this is for example house memory is nothing but houses colony like that so memory location of 124a so what does it mean 124a address it will search so here 124a is the address okay it will go to this 24a not 124a okay it will search the address in the memory so 24a okay memory of 24a means what what does it mean memory look memory data of 24 what what does it mean it means that in this particular address what is the data okay that data has to be placed in the accumulator so it will search in the memory 24a it will go this is the address what data it contains 22 so what will happen after execution of this instruction accumulator will be placed with 22 so accumulator contains 22 okay understand so this is the way next add next next instruction is this 24 bf what does it mean 24 bf means here first this is the op code you understand this is the op code 2 means op code what does 2 means op code 2 means op code what does it interprets it is the addition op code okay so 2 it will add so op code is 2 2 means addition okay so what does this instruction means accumulator contains will be existing accumulator contains plus whatever the contents of the memory location will be added to this one and the result will be stored so you see that here so what does what will happen first what does accumulator contains already from the previous instruction accumulator is already stored with 22 okay 22 is there and 4 bf it will search for the four memory location 4 bf it will go to the memory location 4 bf okay whatever the data contains it will fetch 4 bf contains what 46 so 46 then what does it next do it will add these two contents and place it in the accumulator 46 plus 46 68 so after the execution of this instruction what will the result accumulator contains accumulator contains 68 you understand this instruction is nothing but existing accumulator contents will be will be added with the memory location contents and again the result will be stored in the accumulator okay so accumulator already contains 22 and new data will be fetched from the memory location what contains it contains 46 both these two added and again the result will be placed in the accumulator itself okay this is the meaning of this instruction like this subtraction multiplication multiple instructions so here what you have to understand is that there is these are pneumatic codes computer doesn't understand this we don't give this machine language this is uh, assembly language comes machine language means directly we will give the instruction everything we will see the op code of each one we will see the address location and we will give in this type of instruction we will type zeros and ones like this we will give the instruction so that is called machine language for but but for us to give in zeros and ones terms it is very difficult okay to give the every instruction like this and remembering my address of the memory location and everything will be difficult for us so these are the for one more way of simplifying this is will represent in these steps of pneumatics pneumatics simple simple words so again there is an assembler depending on this pneumatics it will generate the corresponding this machine language code okay this is giving directly instructions according in the binary itself is called machine machine language so that machine language is nothing but whatever machine directly understand computer is a machine so whatever machine can directly understand instructions in the form of zeros and ones only it can direct understand. so giving directly and storing in the memory with zeros and ones directly the program himself will see the op code will see the memory location and all these corresponding numbers he will give okay that is called machine language machine language is nothing but a language which can machine directly understand it contains directly in the zeros and ones 
Next language comes in assembly language. Assembly language, what does it mean? Instead of giving the instructions in this type of format, we'll give, use the pneumatics like this clear, add, addition, subtraction, and memory locations. So that it will be easy for us to write the program. Okay. So what does it mean? Computer doesn't understand these things. Okay. What will happen? There will be again a program. For example, you, read, you have written something like clear, add. Okay. These instructions you have written like this. But computer doesn't understand these things. Okay. What will happen? There will be a program. Again, to run this program, there will be again a program that is assembler. Again, assembler. This is also a program. Okay. What will it do? It will take the CLA and it will generate corresponding machine code. So that the program in the machine language will be developed. Okay. Ultimately, higher level language or assembler, whatever it language, there is a intermediator which can convert the existing instructions which can human understand into the machine understandable reading that's the purpose any language ultimately it has to convert to the machine language but if for in order to understand human more easily there will be some different codes or something so there is some intermediate assembler compiler loader and everything there are multiple things okay these are also programs these converts the existing program easily human readable program into machine convertible program machine language program these are the intermediators okay this is the way of the basic a computer works okay